subject of tags is a pretty freaking big one, but I'm gonna try to cover it as fast as I possibly can so we can get to that exciting episode of Black Screen that we have tonight. Yeah, I can't wait. Last night's, yeah, last it's 12:20 a.m. right now, so yes, last night's episode, you know, the one five minutes ago. <gasps> anyways, anyways, we're running out of time. Um. So the first tag that I always use is the word new. It's just an old school trick that I learned. I don't know if it really does anything cool, but whatever. I use the word new for my first tag. Uh, the second tag that I use is always the title of my video. I just copy and paste it directly in there. Uh, after that I use a variety of search terms and keywords that have to do with the content of the video. You want to put the most important ones first and you know the least important ones last and also the ones that are like the most specific such as your actual name of your channel and things like that you want to put that stuff last because if anybody's typing in that specific thing they're gonna find you specifically right like if somebody types in your wacky ass name hydro killer donkey fucker <laughs> okay they're gonna find hydro killer hydro, whatever the fuck I said they're gonna find it right every tag after that is just a variety of search terms and keywords that have to do with the video itself and if there are any search terms or keywords that are just so important to my channel that I want to include it if there's room I will go ahead and include it and I do try to fill up all the spaces provided however you do want to keep it all somewhat related to the actual content of the video you don't want to just keyword stuff However, I have heard from Roberto Blake that after, I think he said, 7 to 12, I believe, 7 to 12 tags total is where the Google algorithm or whatever starts to think that you're just stuffing in extra tags that are unnecessary, okay? I don't know if that's true. All I know is if they provide you with the spaces, why not use every single one of them? You want to use all these things to your advantage. You want to have every area of your video, the tags, titles, descriptions, you want that in sync. You want the same popular keywords showing up in all those different areas and you want them to be in sync. You want them to be the same. Which brings me to my next point. There are certain tags or keywords rather that are just specific to your genre that are important to know. Like you have to know and always use. Like if you're making tutorial videos, the word tutorial or the term how to videos, these are mainstays that you got to know and always use. But you don't want to like use too many of them or basically I would use those like or basically I'll call those one ofs that I would even put in my default tag section like they're so important that I would just put them in the default list so that they get automatically put on every video but I would rearrange them because you want to have those again somewhat near the bottom you don't want to place emphasis on them and you don't want to have too many of them so I have some one ofs that are very specific and very important to you know your channel like for me it's gonna be how to videos video SEO um, tutorial videos um, trolling videos YouTube drama cyberbullying things like that you just put the ones that pertain to that particular video and put them near the bottom of your tag list because the majority of your tags the main body of it and the ones you want near the front are full body tags basically full sentences that you think somebody out there would type in that's the perfect tag all right like if I was trying to fix a, a, a sink right I would probably type in fix and then sink and then the model name of my actual sink and then I would think that somebody out there has titled their video how to fix this model sink or whatever and the search is going to be able to find me those videos that I'm looking for because I'm lazy and all I type in is fix you know sink you know the Samsonite 3000 so if you've got a video on that you would want to put in how to fix the Samsonite 3000 okay and if you're super smart, even put in that abbreviated version that I actually typed in because people are lazy. To put in fix Samsonite 3000. That's a perfect tag. If you were to do that, literally me typing in exactly what you're using for a tag, it's going to find your video directly. Holy shit, the amount of information up in here is starting to become epic. Anyways, the next point I gotta make with tags is that once you start racking up a few videos and you start to kind of dominate these search terms and these tags, you realize that you can throw that weight around. You literally can tag a video, or rather you can put the name of a video out there in every single one of your tag sections on every single one of your videos, and you can fucking glue your ass to that guy. <laughs> like, that's pretty much what I did to FaZe Carl. I mean, I pretty much own FaZe Carl Exposed. <laughs> yeah, uh, 
Truth be told, within 24 hours of Carl's, like, little snitch bitch fucking supposedly seeing him accidentally flash my gamer tag for a millisecond and then going out and starting a fucking lynch mob, because that's what he did. He literally claims that he just randomly picked out that millisecond that Carl flashed it. And then he went and literally, you can see him start a lynch mob right there in his comment section on the video called, My YouTube Career Is Over. Within 24 hours of me realizing that video existed, I had 400 online videos, titles, tags, descriptions, all in sync, all synchronized, glued to that fucking video. I mean, he was... Because he was stuck to me for life at that moment. I hope I'm doing Roberto fucking proud right now, even though I know he didn't like the whole black screen thing, probably, but whatever. I mean, by the way, I should explain, just in case you don't know why I'm doing this whole black screen thing. Basically, Roberto Blake or many other YouTubers out there will boast of their YouTube statistics when it comes to their audience retention, correct? In Roberto Blake's case, he says he gets a 60 to 70 percent audience retention overall. Okay, I believe, in fact, I know I've heard him say that at times it has been as high as 80 plus percent. Well, I've been able to achieve the exact same thing and I can do it with black screen videos. So I'm basically going to prove that point. So I'm going to show you all my YouTube uh, statistics probably after about a month or so. And I'll explain everything and how I did it and how it all works and, and everything will truly be explained in good time. In fact, as soon as I drop the YT Scam video, everything will be explained when I drop the YT Scam video, which only Roberto Blake has seen at this point. So that's it. Please allow me to quickly ask for your support. Hopefully you learned something from this video. I have a lot more I could probably teach you because I've been doing this SEO thing on YouTube for quite a long time. So please tune in next time. But the most important thing for me, if you want to help me out, is to follow me on Twitter because I'm very active on Twitter. And also check out my all new Facebook page and send me a friend request on Facebook. Basically, I want to start pushing Facebook a lot. Even though I don't have any content on there right now, I'm going to be putting a ton of original content, and I'm talking videos, on there that you can only see on there. And the reason for this is because I want to just take a little bit of the power away from YouTube as far as like my notification system goes and things like that. So why not build a more engaging community off YouTube where I can show you guys more personal videos that don't have to be advertiser friendly and where I can also notify you a lot easier or rather send an email to my email. I put it up on the screen and that way I have yours and just consider yourself part of Team Savior. Um, I love each and every one of you. Um, don't worry, I won't ever show another human being your email address or spam you whatsoever. You're probably gonna get the very rare occasional you know, bit of original content straight to your email and that's really it. So um, please help me by doing that because like I said, I just wanna build my own email list I don't know, I'm just winging it here. I fucking love each and every one of you. Peace out. Black screen! And now, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the dramatic conclusion of Paris through a blind man's eyes. <laughs>